Hey, my name is Jeremy, and I'm going to learn to fly today. We're here at Hanscom Field. It's a beautiful morning. I'm about to do something I never thought I'd do, and uh, I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Take our feet off my brakes. I'm going to give it a little bit of power to get us moving. As soon as we get rolling. Your airplane, right? My airplane right now, yep. I'll get, I'll get it to you once we get out of the taxiway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And check the brakes. There we go. And he said Juliet and Echo. So that's going to be... I'm going to go around here and make a quick right and a quick left to get over to Juliet Taxiway. So yeah, so as we taxi along here, it should pretty much track straight unless the wind is pushing against us. So. Okay, so you can. And so are your feet at the top? I'm actually, yeah, I'm I'm are kind of coming? applying pre pressure first on the rudder. Okay. The rudder may have some slight effect. Yeah. But then if I need to, I'm reaching up and applying pressure with the toes. Want to give it a try? Yeah. Um, Go ahead. So. so yeah. Um, so that's it. You know, there's nothing to do with the hands at this point. Yep. So when I when I break left, it actually goes left. Yep, and so it'll keep going left until you stop it, right? Okay, so you so really gotta you gotta drive it with your feet. Yep, exactly right. So yeah, just quick little quote unquote toe taps, right? Yeah. As opposed to Oop, holding the, a lot of brake pressure, right? So on the brake, off the brake. Yep, I get that. Yeah. yeah. And so follow the center line as best you can. Yeah, exactly. Unlike uh, on the road where we're staying to the right of the yellow, we're staying right on, we're on straddling the center, the center right, line. So yep. now I'm gonna do a little, little right turn. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Morning, Warrior uh, 276 November Delta, West Ramp, ready to taxi. Delta. Now, uh, 276 November Delta, Hanscom Ground, runway 29 or taxi via Sierra Echo. Sierra Echo to 29 or 276. Which, uh, which way am I going We're here? We're going to go to the right. To the right. So follow the yellow line to the right. Correct. 4603. see this come on up here autopilot roll and pitch and I'm going to verify that I can actually overpower that autopilot feel good feel those controls feel stiff there oh yeah yeah much oh my god yeah yeah so the autopilot really Ooh. really fighting right yeah and then the disconnect is it I'm sorry go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead try and push that red button no two there you go now feel the controls feel the difference oh yeah way different okay right, cool while I'm here, I'm gonna, just going to go take ahead and set turn. myself to take off. Yep. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. As ready as I'll ever be, Sean. All right. Okay. So, so what I'll do is I'll have you kind of shadow me on, stay on the, follow me on the controls on the takeoff, and yeah. once we get airborne, I'll, I'll, I'll give it over to you. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Hascom Tower, Cirrus five eight five, equal to a holding short of two nine or southwest departure. November 5 at 5 Echo Juliet, Hanson Tower, proceed on course, runway 29 and cleared for takeoff. 
Runway 29, clear for takeoff, on course, 585, I could All right. And they're on the right side. Just to avoid that puddle there. When you're saying clear, you don't see any traffic. Correct. And that's, that's what it means. Yeah, okay. I'm making sure that there's, even though he's just cleared November me for takeoff, nine, Zulu, runway two nine, I'm reconfirming go. that there's it's nobody right. on, two nine, two nine, two on, on approach to land. It would be an immediate conflict. Okay, so I'm going to take advantage of just about every square inch of this runway that I can. Get myself lined up on the center of the runway. I'm going to confirm that I see the right numbers on the runway. Two nine. Two nine. That's a good sign. Okay. I see two nine zero. Two nine zero, two nine zero on the compass. And looking at my wind sock there, I've got a little wind from the right side, so I'm going to start off with some crossing correction. Tower and then as we start rolling here, I'm going to give the power. Okay. And I'm using my feet primarily to keep it straight at this point. Okay. There we go. We've got full throttle. There we go. November 276, November okay, Delta, starting to feel the elevator come to life. Yep. A little bit of back pressure. In the left turn out, right turn out's proof. And Runway there she is, she's airborne. Oop. There's a little wind shear that they were talking about. Okay, and we're just going to hold the attitude steady there. You can see I've got a little bit of crab angle here. Yeah, basically yeah. Cra crosswind correction already. Okay. And I'm looking for positive rate of climb. I can see my altitude increasing. Yep. Um, I can see I'm clear of it, clearing any obstacles ahead of me, and I'm getting to 85 knots. And I'm going to raise my flaps up to zero. zero. There we go. Okay. Good deal. All right. So now we're accelerating up to approximately 96 knots, which is our best rate of climb speed. That's going to get us up to altitude quickest. There's 600 feet. Yeah. Caps is now available. Caps is available. Okay. So now. We've got options. All right, so looking out ahead of us here, I can see a little bump ahead of us, Mount Wachusett. November 5, uh -huh. Echo Juliet, frequency change is approved. Happy to fight. 5, Echo Juliet, frequency change, start to you later. Okay. Well, it's up to half line, so we're four or five golf. We're eight miles northwest of Hanscom. Uh, we'd like to uh, have flight following, and we're going to an aerobatic area in practice, so 10 miles off our nose. All right. You want to take the controls? Uh, yeah. Right. So what am I? Yeah, you're gonna rest your heels on the floor, toes on the bottom. Toes on the bottom. Yeah. And okay. then we're gonna. Yeah. There we go. Good. Oh. Good. Whoa. There you go. All right. Wow. It's so sensitive. It is super sensitive. Am I making a? And you're gonna actually level the wings here. Level the wings. We're gonna, do, we're gonna do a climbing, uh, straight ahead climb right here. That's it. Okay. And I want you now. You yeah. can just lower the nose a little bit for me. Yeah. Just bring the nose down a little bit so you can see a little bit of horizon over the top, over the over the. The tip of the nose. November a more. seven one four five golf handsome town. There you go. Very nice. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> that's turbulent, so we're going to correct that with rudder and aileron. Okay. Right. So if the airplane, so we're just going to keep that airplane. Let's bring the airplane back to the right a little bit. To the right. So the right rudder, right aileron. So right rudder. Yep. There you go. Uh, there you go. Good. 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 There you go. All right. So we're probably going to have to stop this climb. Uh, probably right about here. Okay, so now... So what I want you to do is just, we're going to lower the nose. So we're going to push forward on the stick. Trying. Push, yep, good. Push, push hard. Push, push, push hard. Push, push, push yep, yep, push. There Whoa. you go. Keep pushing down. Altitude. There you go. Oh. Down a little more for me. Uh, down good. a little more. Yep, okay. Yep, yep, So there, right about there, is okay. what level look, level flight looks like. A little more. A little more? Yeah, a little more, right there. Yep, there you go. Little now I feel like I have to push, pull back. Yeah, we're going to push down a little bit. Now we're going to adjust the trim a little bit. You're going to feel the pressure change on the controls. Okay. There you go. Good. Okay. All right. So we're going to stay a little bit lower altitude for the moment until... Oh, and I guess switch frequencies. All right. Oh, uh, Boston Pro Series 585 Echo Juliet just departed Hanscom 2300. Number 585 Echo Juliet, Boston Pro Kind Dent, Boston Altimeter 2978, and you're requesting 4500. 2978 uh, 5 Echo Juliet, we're leveled off here at 25 for now until we get clear of these clouds. Five eight zero. Roger. Better contact four southwest of Bedford. Contact approach one three three point zero thirty three zero. One thirty three zero five eight five. We're going to talk to you later. All right. All right. Good. All right. So I'm going to help you out a little bit. Yeah, please. Yeah. Bring that throttle back a little bit for now. Okay. And we're going to lower the nose a little more for me. Okay. All right. We're going to continue to. Uh, Circumnavigate these clouds. Okay. Traffic, no factor, climb and maintain 1,000. Final 1, 4, Check fuel. Yeah, Over here, look at my fuel level. They're pretty equal, so I'm going to leave it alone. All right, everything else looks good. Wow. All right. Okay.
that was interesting. Um, I had absolutely 100% situational focus ahead, and I couldn't even imagine looking at the instruments. Good. <laughs> and that's fine. And, and that's okay. Echo Juliet, contact Bradley Approach, 119.0. Good day. 119.0, 5 Echo Juliet. Good day. Alright, so I added a little bit of workload with the communication, but... but yeah. um, 1 Echo Yankee, contact Approach, 123.9 or 5. 23 or 5, 1 Echo Yankee. Bradley Cirrus, 585 Echo Juliet, 2000. 2585 Echo Juliet, Bradley Approach, altimeter 2978, say destination. 2978, we're going to Hotel Papa November. Roger. Far. So right now, autopilot's engaged, and it's using so, GPS uh, correct. to get us to our destination. That's right. And it's maintaining altitude, it's maintaining That's right. uh, air That's right. airspeed, or no? Nope. Uh, altitude and course. So okay. it'll adjust the heading as necessary to maintain the course. All right, 20.5, you'll need to hold the squawk. And is the airplane crabbing? You can hold the squawk. Yes. We're, we're flight, you know, highway yeah. in the sky, and it's crabbing on its own. Exactly right. Wow. All right, a little bit of a cloud here, Mike. Uh, you're gonna go underneath it. Yeah. Pretty much see right through it. There we go. All right, there. Now it's starting to break up. Okay, cool. Now. So this is what straight and level looks like in this airplane. So you can okay. see where the horizon kind of cuts through the windshield. Yeah. You know, it's probably I would say a little less than halfway up. Yeah. So this is what it looks like, and I compare. I. I Join confirm Tango that two, one, two. by looking at oh. my altimeter, right? right. And so these yeah. triangle guys one, zero, are exactly level with the horizon. Juliet, yeah, zero, but more importantly, right, I can, I can hold, depending on my whiskey. my power setting, Direct. will depend and on the attitude I need to hold level, but most importantly, I'm looking at altitude, right? I'm holding altitude, right? Yeah. So that tells me I'm level. Got it. So if that altitude is wandering up or down, then I'm not holding altitude. It probably looks really interesting on the camera with my hand flashing. Back That's right. That's right. I'm, um, I'm a. What's cool is that until you just mentioned it, I forgot we had cameras. <laughs> good. That's Hi, good. Sleep. All right. So it's starting to open up a little bit. It looks like there's some snow showers out there. See that? Yeah. Yeah. And that's um, directly in our track, eh? Well, it's going to be a little bit north of where we're going to go. There's some, well, there, maybe Bravo some up there, but right, I think so overall it's going to be in pretty good shape. Veers, okay. And then after Veers, you're going to join, it's at Tango Route. Oh, yeah. So after Veers, yeah. join Tango 212. But yeah, so that so in the beginning, that's what we're doing. Is we're predominantly looking outside, yeah. right? And and then, and then brief confirmations inside, by, by indications inside. That we're getting what we what we want what we expect, right? Yep. So crosswind coming this way, yeah. number one, and it's Juliet pretty Taylor substantial at 24 knots. Calling. It sure is. Yeah. 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 So we've okay. got approximately back in six twenty two. Yeah, about a ten, a ten degree years. crab angle, a eight uh -huh. to ten degree crab angle, I would say. And and that's basically it's six, three, that's four, just all rudder, right? Heading right? Five, crab no, angle? It's no, it's just. It's just a uh, flying, flying a heading that, get, that gives you your desired ground check. So, so the airplane is fully coordinated. Yeah. Uh, it's just flying along in a level attitude, but the nose is pointed over here. But the ground, the airplane is flying through the air like that. So you're just pointing the nose over here, knowing that you need to go over there. Three, six, three, uh -huh. four, heavy yeah. this approach terminate. Um, all right. Want to take it for a little while? Um, I yeah, yes, I will take it. All right. If you feel any any qualms about it, don't 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 okay. be shy. All right, right, so here we are. We're climbing. So yeah, if you could just keep us pointed in that general direction, and what I what I would suggest is, you know, picking a visual landmark, Can you something out there. See a white we're spike way out there. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, I can't. Uh, so I don't know. All right. Try. So yeah. So what you're basically doing is, yeah, just looking out at the horizon. Oh, okay. Oh. You're gonna stop climbing for a second. Yeah. Sorry about that. I thought we were right. good. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, yeah, heading to a push forward a little bit. Forward. Push, push, push. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Actually climbed up a little bit, so keep pushing. Push. There you go. King Air 2, Mike, Mike, radar service terminated. Squawk VFR. There you Contact go. Contact New Haven. Town. Good. Have a good one. 2, Mike, Mike. Good day. All right. So see this little button on the top of the, 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 yeah. the control call? This is the trip. Yep. So if you push... Forward, it's going to trim the nose down, and yep. you trim, pull back, you're going to trim the nose up. Go ahead and just play with it a little bit. Just okay. feel it. Feel right. what it does. It's going to move pretty quickly. Oh, I just did it once. I'm kind of yeah. like 
All right, good. Trying to get a little. So I want you to just feel the change in control oh, pressures yeah. as you do it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Whoa. So it. Now it's important to recognize that trim is a secondary control surface. Yeah. Right. So in other words, we're flying the airplane with the primary controls, the elevator yeah. and aileron, and we adjust the trim to alleviate pressure. Problem. Yeah. So like right now, I'm feeling some pressure pulling back. Well, it's, it's almost balanced. Right. And now it feels balanced, but I'm so, descending. Okay, so one one good way to check that, right? Yeah. Is to very briefly and, and have take a leap. Of Echo Julia, traffic 10 o'clock, 8 miles, maneuvering altitude in case 4,500. 5 Echo Julia, it's looking. One way to kind of check that is to briefly and take a leap of faith with me, let go of the controls. Oh, gosh. Okay, go ahead. Let go. Go. go ahead. Okay, so and it, it wants to go down. Yep. So, so I need to trim up. Yes. Trim a little bit. That's okay. correct. Okay, now I'm going up. Right. So the most effective way, watch, watch me. Right. Okay, you got it. Blip, blip. Okay. It is a blip blip. Okay. Yep. Good. Yeah. That, now I'm not fighting the controls. Good. And that's what we want. We want you to be able to to have the least amount of resistance on the controls, so that you can feel subtle changes in control pressures. Yeah. And, and okay. respond to them. Airplanes like this, once they're all set up in, in a state, they, they're designed to be inherently stable. Meaning that, with small displacements from attitude, the airplane will want to return to where it was. Yep. Okay? So, my controls for a second. All right, my you controls have the plane. Right? My controls. All right, watch this. If I take this airplane, if I just push down on the controls like this. Yeah. All right, now watch what happens. It's going to pitch down for a second. All right, wait. Watch, watch, watch. It's gonna say, "Oh, wait a minute, this isn't right," and it's gonna it's gonna start pitching back up. See it? It does that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I touch it. Uh. Look at that. Now it took a while, right? Okay. It lost about 600 feet. Okay. But look, it's starting to come back up automatically. Yep. And, and we yep. don't have autopilot on. Nope. That's just the 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 the, the trim. And the aerodynamics, the, the oh, design wow. of the this airplane. Is actually, the aerodynamic design of the, yeah. of the plane. Yeah. Now, now it's climbing though. Yeah, it's going to climb, right? And then as the airspeed starts to diminish, the nose It'll will do come the same back. Thing. It'll oh. the, those oscillations will get smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually no it stabilizes. And I'm going to go ahead and just take the controls. Okay, your controls okay. now. Okay, my controls. controls. All right, so we're just going to kind of hang out here. We'll keep aiming at the city. And at the city. Life is good. How does the plane know that the crosswind is 24 knots out of 310? Um, so, like, is it, like, how does so, it measure? So there's a series of, obviously, of, uh, between the GPS, the, um, the heading information, um, the GPS can tell us what our ground track is. So it takes the differential between oh. the, flight, the flight path and the heading of the airplane. And it, and it can and then the difference between airspeed and ground speed and it calculates all that. That's insane. Instantly. Yeah. Yep. Because I mean that really is helpful. <laughs> it really is. Cannot. Good. Good. Push. 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 Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Don't be shy. All right. Um, that was a little nerve wracking. That was really interesting. All right. Let's get underneath. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oops. 
so just let's keep pushing. Push, push. Stay, we're going to stay. So see how the clouds are yeah. penetrating the horizon? Yeah. That means we're, we're, we're probably going to, if we continue at this altitude, we're probably going to hit them. Okay, so, so we're going to continue to go down. Yep, push forward. Push. It's, it's, yeah, it's subtle, but sometimes it needs more than subtle. Yes. <laughs> That's right. right. Burke, I see you. Keep going, right? Yep, keep keep pushing. pushing. Yep. As long as you can, as long as you can't see that horizon, push. Go ahead and aim more toward the city. See the city over there? Yeah. Just start aiming toward the city again. Doing please. a little bit of left rudder. Yes, please. Okay. And we're gonna let that nose come down. Let it let, let it, come it come down. down? Yep. Okay. Go. Good. We have about another thousand feet of altitude to lose before we enter the pattern. Okay. There we go. Tell me when to come out of the turn because I just don't know. Just yeah. head towards the city. You said. Yeah. Just head toward the city. It's perfect. Okay. Yeah. As as you get closer there, you're gonna see what right now there's uh, some clouds. Yeah. And, the, and this is where the sun's kind of shining. Yeah. There's some buildings. Yeah. That, that's the air, that looks like part of the airport right there. Oh, okay. Cirrus departs runway 34 with a right turn to the east. The wind is 320 at gust 22, runway 34, cleared to land. Okay, runway 34, clear to land. We'll watch out for the parting Cirrus 585 at Okay. We're entering the pattern, or Correct. we're in the pattern. Yep. Maybe. Pattern yeah. altitude is 1,400. 16, New York 20, see you now. All right. So all I'm trying to do again is just try to ride out those bumps and just try to hold it as steady as I can. Yeah. Okay. Now, she just told me there's another Cirrus that's going to be taking off on the runway I'm landing on, and he's going to be turning basically this direction. Okay. So but by the time they get airborne and up to our altitude, we're going to be setting up more setup for the landing. Okay. So it should be no factor whatsoever. So the runway I'm landing on is the one that's going like this. Yep, I see, see that the airplane rolling down the runway. Yep, yeah. that's, that's the Cirrus that's departing. Yep. There so he is. He's airborne. Oh, wow. <laughs> Already. Okay. So this is now downwind? Correct. We're getting the downwind? That's correct, yep. All right, so here's comes so the downwind. So just 782 cross from we three. A little fast. <laughs> so I'm just going to reduce the power a little earlier. Uh, alpha to and that's three. it, Sean. Didn't really intend to climb like that. All right, there we go. You're trying to line up. Yep, we're below 119 knots. And we're right at first notch of flaps in. And a little forward push to get the keep the nose down. So what I'm looking for is the airspeed to settle down around 100 knots and about four to five hundred feet per minute descent. Okay. There it is. Airspeed's coming down. All right, with that wind, I don't want to go out too far. This is just going to slow me right down anyway, so I'll keep the pattern in tighter. I might otherwise. Pretty down here. All right. Coming on to the base, we'll look out here, making sure there's no one coming in straight in, even though we've been cleared to land. The runway is clear, looking Altitude. good. There we go, I'm below 104 knots, flaps to 100%. Slowing to one, slowing to 90 knots. There it is, looking good. How you doing, warm? Yeah, no, yeah, a little warm. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to turn the line up with the runway. And as I line up on the runway, I should be about five or 600 feet above ground. The ground here is just over 400 feet. So there we go, looking good. I'm going to line myself up with the center of the runway. Oh, stop that turn a little early. Go. There we go. Now we're lined up on the runway. Now I've got the runway kind of set up where I want it in the windshield. Okay. Kind of steady position. How you doing? All right? Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, it was... Queasy? I'll... I'll Checking myself out. Right, I think I moved my head. Right, thank you. Uh, have a nice day. Bye, All right, so the wind feels like it's pretty well down the runway. 
which is good. Looking good. All right. Yeah, ground 782. We're going to have to hold here on Alpha where they figure out where to put us. Okay, so just 782, Roger. Right. No problem. Just let me know when you're heading in. Got the runway made. Power's coming back smoothly back to idle, continuing to de descent. There's the level off over the runway. Letting the energy dissipate a little bit. Is waiting for it. Stop. Go, and we're on Stop. the ground. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. The experience was more exciting and frightening than I thought it would be. Uh, stay tuned as I post the return trip, hopefully in the next few days. If you liked what you saw, give it a like, thumbs up, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Uh, and again, special thanks to Sean at Mike Lillian Aviation and the whole team there that was really awesome in putting together this first flight. Uh, really special time. So see you all next time.